Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my 10 month update for the 2020 Vision Project Pan. This is a project that I started in collaboration with my friend Elizabeth at Kooky Pans and Makeup Tips 102 over on Instagram. Many more people have joined in since the start of this project on July 1st, 2018. It has been great to see everybody participating in this project that has done so. It is the mother of all project pans. It's a big one. 18 months is by far the longest project pan that I have ever done. Some of these products were chosen with the knowledge that they were big products that would take 18 months of consistent use to finish. Have I been using all of them consistently? No, no I have not, but I'm getting good use on all of them. This project started with 20 makeup items and 20 non-makeup items. Prior to today's update, I had nine empties, so good but not great. But I have two more empties today, so let's start with those. If you saw my empties video for April, it will be no surprise that this little guy is gone. This is the Organic Honey Farm Praline and Honey Body Lotion. This came in a set of three with a body wash and a body scrub. I was not impressed with really the body wash was okay, but the other two products were not very impressive. The problem with this one was that it was basically water. It was a body lotion that felt and looked like water, so it didn't really do a whole lot. I'm really glad it's gone. It will not be missed, and it's one more product down. This is the 10th empty for this project. The next empty I'm gonna talk about is really exciting really really exciting because it is the first makeup empty in this project and that is this Tarte CC colored clay CC primer in the shade light this has long since been discontinued I believe I bought it off a of Holt look so it was already going out the door when I picked it up and then of course I hoarded it for a few years so now it's extra old here's what it looks like all the way wound up It is gone. Let me show you the light and the medium compared to each other. I recently added in the medium shade into a different project, my roulette pan collab, so that I could finish this off too. You could see the, by the labels that the medium shade is a deeper shade than the light shade. Excuse my fingernail polish. Holy cow. When I put the two next to each other, you can see as well that they are very different shades. Both of them blend out lighter than they look in the tube between the, the green and the lavender and then just shearing it out on my skin. It's much lighter, but for the last week, I've been using this kind of where I would apply a cream bronzer and then applying this everywhere else just to kind of mix the two together. For the sake of this project, I am counting this as an empty, but because I am a glutton for punishment, because I really like this product and I cannot rebuy it again, I've decided to dig out what's left in here and see how much is left. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like right now, but right over here on my dining room table, I have a knife in an empty jar. So I'm gonna do a little surgery on that product right now. And with the magic of editing, I'm gonna come back and show you how much product is left in this tube. I'm hoping there's some, but not too much. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know what I'm hoping for, but we're gonna see. Okay, the job is done. This is how deep the packaging went. After I used up everything I could use up, there was still about another half an inch of product left in there. And this, hang on, don't wanna spill anything. This is what is left, and I am going to use this, I think, what I'm going to do is just kind of smush it all back down into like a solid and use it like a balm, a balm primer. So that is my plan. But since my makeup is already on for today, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I will figure it out tomorrow. It doesn't obviously take me too long to get through this product. So I don't think this will slow me down too much, but this product is just too good to just throw away. So. I'm glad I dug it out, but I'm also glad that for the sake of the project, this is an empty. I will keep you posted on this either in my next update on this project or on my 
empties video for the month of May. Okay, let's start with my progress on the non-makeup items in this project. I will not be going over every single product that's left in this project because some of them I'm not using really at all yet. They're gonna be getting used later on in the year. So I'm just gonna talk about the ones that are worth talking about. First of all, the most exciting one, arguably, is this Misha Time Revolution, the first treatment essence intensive. I received this from 08L for review purposes and this would have been gone today if I hadn't have done the peel from Lancome over the past month, but I'm glad I did the Lancome peel because that's gone now. But I have the tiniest amount. The bottom of the glass, the bottom of the bottle is right there. There's only a couple of millimeters of product left. I'm guessing within the next three or four days of use, this will be gone. So good product, but I'm okay with letting it go. Um, I'm excited to have it gone from this project soon and off of my bathroom counter, to be honest. Once this is gone, I will be zeroing in on this little guy right here. I have been using this really inconsistently throughout this project. I don't know why, but I'm ready to focus in on it. There used to be a ton of water and liquid floating around the bottom. There's still a little bit, but it's definitely drier than it used to be. I do cut these pads in half because it feels wasteful to use one pad over my entire face. The pad is soaking wet, there's plenty of surface area. I cut them in half and I use them more consistently and I feel less guilty about it. But this is kind of going to be like my nighttime serum until they are gone. So I plan to use a half a pad a night until these are gone, starting when I finish off that treatment essence. Um, so that's why I brought these out today. I don't actually have any progress to talk about as of this update, but it's go time for these as soon as that's gone. And I might start making some really good progress quickly once I do that, because so far I've been using them very sporadically. I haven't used them consistently at night. I'm just going to assume that it is safe to use these every night. I should double check that. I'll double check that, but um, all the writing on the packaging is, I believe, Korean. Yes, made in Korea. I will double check that and make sure these are safe to use every night, but if they are, it's go time. The body wash that I am using exclusively at this point is this Sunny Citrus Bath and Shower Gel from The Body Source. I bought this back when I worked at Kohl's, and I worked at Kohl's like 18 years ago. Um, so it's old, it's very old. It's moved from a few different houses with me and it's not moving with me to the next house, that is for sure. This is my progress over the past month. Really good progress based on that. I don't see why I can't finish this one off by the next update as well. Mm, very exciting. Can't imagine my life without this guy in it, but I'm ready for it. So another empty estimated for next month. Okay, this night cream is still hanging on. This is the Aqua Hyaluronic Acid Water Drop Cream. This is also something I received from 08L for review purposes. And I'm making good progress on this. There's probably still like three more months of product in here, but you can see it's all the way down to here. I am using it pretty much every single night. So progress is consistent. It's hanging up. It's just a very thin liquidy formula. It'll be perfect as we get into the warmer months and I don't need like a heavy moisturizing cream to protect my skin. So it's the perfect time to really enjoy this product. Ah, this Pond's Cold Cream is never going to go. I use this every single night to take my eye makeup off. I don't need a lot at all. But, you would think with my consistent use, you would see the progress. I suppose there is progress, there must be. I use it every single night, but this jar still feels really full, really full. So we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing and use it every night to take off our eye makeup. That's all we can do. I have two more non-makeup items to talk about and then we're on to makeup. These two nail polishes are the last two nail polishes in this project. There were originally four and I did finish off two of them. This one I love to use on my fingernails and this one I can only use on my piggy toes because the formula sucks, it sucks. 
and it's not worth my time to put on my nails, unfortunately. I love the color. It This came from an old e.l.f. holiday set. We are down to here. We have made good progress. This is several months worth of progress, not just one month, and I did recently add in thinner, so um, that's a pretty accurate reflection of where we're at right now. It's this gorgeous, like, sheer black base with blue and purple shimmers in there and I just wish so bad the formula was better because I would wear this every single day on my fingernails but because I can only get one day out of this polish before it chips on my fingernails I'm only wearing it on my toes I'm probably only going to get one or two more pedicures out of this before I dump the remainder of what's in this bottle into another nail polish that's kind of what I do because I don't want to be bothered with streaky manicures or pedicures all right, so I'm thinking one more pedicure out of this and then I'm gonna just dump it into another dark nail polish and this will be gone. And then there's this little guy. This is will be the last remaining nail polish in this project. I am obsessed with this formula. I absolutely love this color. It's this really cool nude that looks almost like a grayish or like a gruple or something. Gruple, I don't know. It's like a gray purple nude that is very, very flattering and cool looking. Um, and this formula is fabulous. It lasts five days without chipping, uh, seven if you can avoid, you know, any heavy work. It's just a great formula. And this came in a set of like many nude mini nail polishes. So once this is gone, I will have more Deborah Lippman polishes, but I think this is a great formula. What do you got there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yo. Uh, oh. Okay, let's move on to makeup. This video is going to be 3,000 hours. <laughs> some good progress on some of these items, some frustrating lack of progress on many others. Let's start with the good progress. Um, this Ulta liquid bronzer, liquid illuminator bronzer thing is going and it's really exciting to see the progress. This is an airless pump, so it moves upward. These are my progress marks over many months. This right here is my progress over the past month. And this is how much I have left, I'm guessing, by my progress marks that there's still three more months of this product. But I'm feeling very confident that this will be gone by the finale or before. Another product that I'm making really good progress on is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. This is also in The Experiment. So I am using it every single day that I wear makeup, which is pretty much every single day. And here is where we are. Probably still several more months of product left in there, but I feel like we're past the halfway mark and I'm happy with that. All right, basically everything else is just frustrating. This eye primer is still hanging on. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is in the Ancient Primer Potion packaging. So every time I show this, people are like, oh my God, that's so old. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I have pulled out the stopper. I am scraping the sides every month. I think it's going to be its last month and it hangs on to live another month. So we shall see. Maybe this is it. Now that you've seen my foundation routine, you all know that I am the slowest panner of foundation products known to man. And in addition to having this product to work on, I've also been throwing a lot of foundation samples into Turn and Burn, and those last forever. So half the month is taken up just using up a little itty bitty sample packet of foundation instead of working on this. So I'm starting to think this is going to be around in 2020 but I'm really glad to be using this product. It is lovely. It's a lovely color on me. It's a lovely product. I have zero complaints about it, but I just use so little product and this will last forever. I guess that's a good thing if you have a product you like, right? I'm not gonna complain. This Bare Minerals blush is in the shade True Beauty. I am wearing it today. Um, today is probably the only day I've worn it. I've really been focusing on the blush in my pan palette and that hard work has paid off. I'm sure you all saw I did hit pan in that blush over the past uh, week, but this hasn't been getting a ton of use. This is also in the experiment. So according to the numbers, I should be able to finish this before the end of the year. We shall see. It's still going nice and strong. 
I was using this bronzer fairly consistently over the past month until I rolled in that old Tarte bronzer into the Graveyard Project pan. And this is gonna be on the back burner for a little while from here on out. There's still no rings showing on it, even though I did get some good use over the past month. This is the Too Faced Soleil Chocolate, Chocolate Soleil, Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I still love the smell of it. Even after all these years, I, as I'm applying it and dusting it around my face, it is just such a pleasant experience. I really do love this product, but it's going to be on hold for a while. So I just wanted to show it one last time because it probably won't be making an appearance for a few updates until that Tarte bronzer is gone. Is everything else that I want to talk about a lip product? I may have put in too many lip products into this project. As long as I've been project panning, I still make these rookie mistakes because I'm an optimist and I think to myself, you can do it, you have 18 months, you can do it. No, I can't, I cannot do it. So let's talk about some of these lip products. I actually pulled every lip product that's in this project out to show you what's going on. Three of them, you cannot see any progress, so I'm just gonna flash them in front of the screen and remind you of what they are. This is the NYX Extreme Shine Lip Cream in Neutral? Natural. Natural. It looks like that. I've used it a couple times every month. There's no visual progress. There's no gaps. There's no windows. Nothing. This is the Kylie Gloss in So Cute. I received this as a gift with purchase um, when I placed an order that was significantly delayed, like a month, and everybody that placed an order, it was a Cinco de Mayo buy one, get one. I think they got flooded, so everybody got a free lip gloss with their order. I would not have picked this out for myself had I not received it for free, but I'm trying to get some use out of it, and I use it every now and then. Also, this Tarte Tartus Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. Same thing, I use it every now and then. This isn't in the rotation right now of everyday lip products, but sometimes I just do a little random grab in my purse and see what I pull up, and if this is one of the ones I grab, I wear it for that day. I almost always pair a lip gloss on top of it. The lip gloss that has undoubtedly received the most use out of all the lip products in this project is this little guy right here and he will not die. I have made progress though. I'm really happy to say that I am a little bit below this line. When I pulled it out of my purse, it was on its side, so I'm letting it settle before I make a new line, but I have made some progress. Why this isn't gone completely, I don't know, but I'm gonna let it settle completely until after this video is done being filmed and I will make a new line, but it looks like I am right about here. And that is, of course, a few months of use, not just one month of progress. So I just keep layering this on top of everything. It's a beautiful product. I really, really like this. If I didn't say already, this is Butter London Lip Gloss and Firework and Fireworks. I really like this, but I have too many lip glosses and this should be an easy win for me. And yet 10 months into this project, still here. The last three lip products I wanna show you guys are all ones that I can mark and measure on paper, and I have at least the slightest amount of progress on all of them. One of them is actually pretty good. None of this is one month's worth of progress for any of these products. Some of them, these two right here, are gonna be showing two months worth of progress, and this one is like, I don't know, six months worth of progress, and it's the smallest. So let's talk about that one. This is a ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. It's very neutral. There's not a lot of pink in it. I wish it did have a little bit of pink in it. I do have other lip pencils with pink in it, but I don't pull for this as often as I should. I've talked about this before, but the cap just comes right off. Mom, I like you. I like you too. Good morning. Good morning. Let me finish filming, okay, baby? I like you. I like you too. I love you. I have talked about this in previous updates. The cap just comes right off, and because of that, I don't carry it around in my purse where I could potentially be getting a lot more use out of this product. I keep it in the bathroom where maybe I would apply it once in the morning and that's it, but never reapply. Many of you have given me suggestions about what to do about this, and I haven't taken anyone's advice because I just never get around to it, but 
it's a problem and I'm either gonna have to accept the fact that this is gonna be around in 2020 or work on one of those solutions that you guys have offered. Here is the paper where I mark my progress. Like I said, this is several, several months of occasional usage, but I was able to make a new line right there, so that's good. This is my number seven lip pencil. What is it? The packaging is completely rubbed off. This is a number seven like chubby lip crayon in the shade Daydreamer. I love this product very much. This lives in my purse like a lot of these products do and I do use it fairly consistently because I just, it's easy. It's one of the products that I like to put on like after lunch, like I've just had lunch and it's time to reapply and this is like my go-to because it just adds a little bit of pink, a little bit of shine and helps me to look a little bit more put together. That is how much I have left. There's still lots of product, several more months of usage, no doubt, but I am getting there slowly but surely and right here is two months of progress so not great that amount of progress isn't great for two months but at least i was able to make a new line if any of you watching are slow at panning lip products you get this you get me you feel me it takes forever it really does this is a lipstick from sonia kashik i have the cap on wrong so it's not lined up let me try that again this is a lipstick from Sonia Kashik. I believe the shade is called Sheer Pink Lust. It is a gorgeous lipstick. It's the kind of product I would rebuy if I would ever finish one and if this product was still available. I don't think these are around anymore. I'm not sure. I got the blinders on, but I'm pretty sure Sonia Kashik has removed all of their makeup products from their Target stores and that they're only doing like brushes and some skincare and makeup bags. I'm, I don't know. But I think I'm not gonna be able to rebuy this once it's gone, which is devastating. However, I will be really glad that I used this entire thing up before it went bad. That's kind of the viewpoint I have to take with these things. At least I was able to use it up before it went bad. I have not used it up yet, but it is still good. And I am getting use out of it because of it's in this project. And that's it, that's all I have left. It's a very soft, shiny formula. Unlike some matte lip products I use, this goes down a little bit quicker. It's just the most beautiful shade. I love this product. It was definitely something that came onto my radar because of Emily Noel 83. And I'm so glad I bought it because it is gorgeous. I do have another one of these in like a watermelony kind of bright, vibrant shade. And I would love to work on that one as well. So we'll, hopefully I'll get around to it. But my progress on this one is a little bit smaller. It's just a tiny line right there but that's my progress over the past two months. All right, those are all the products that I've been working on over the last month. Let me set some goals for the next update. I am hoping for four empties. We will see. I don't know if it's possible, but I am hoping for four empties by next month's update. One, two, three and four. Three non-makeup items and one makeup item. I would be so happy if I could finish these four off by the next update. That would be amazing. Wish me luck, guys. I don't know. This guy might be around for another 10 years. It's just never ending. It just, I think it's gone and it keeps going. So we'll see. All right, guys, that is it for this update. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.